Hey, what's up? I'm going to be very ambitious today. I'm going to try and do the interior on the truck and the front bushings on the Civic. Let's see how much I get done. So I'm going to start with the truck because I'd like to get the carpet out in time for the sun to help dry it. First thing I'm going to do is take everything out of the cabin so that I'll have room to work. This truck still has a working tape deck, so I got tapes. All right, now we got the various things I keep in the back. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff out. And look what I found. The other key fob has been in the truck the whole time. I will have the door open a lot, so, so that I don't drain the battery, I'm gonna disconnect it. So it looks like the seat is only held in with this bolt here and that bolt there, and there's matching ones on the other side. And I'm using a 15 millimeter to take them off. All right, that's those two. Now for the driver's side. All right, so that's all the bolts out. So now I am going to fish the seat belts through this, and then that'll allow them to go through the hole better. There's one there and one there. Scratch that. I'm actually just gonna push this through the hole and that one as well. And then everything else will be able to go through with it. How you doing? All right, let's get that thing out. So this is what we're working with. I don't know how many years it's been since any of this has been cleaned, but it's gonna get cleaned today. And you know what, I think I'm gonna keep these Tasmanian Devil floor mats. But yeah, that's that, let's see what's on this floor mat. Completely different color. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna vacuum all this out and then get with the task of taking it out. All right, well, that's not perfect. That's good enough for me to take the rest out because I just wanted to make sure I got all the debris up so when I took the carpet out, I didn't leave a lot in the cabin. So now I'm gonna get to the task of taking out all the trim pieces. See, and this is why I do this kind of stuff. This makes me think I have some sort of leak up here. I mean, look at that. But that's not in the scope of work for today. Let's take this off. The bolt there was the one that's already out. There's a bolt on the other side. I think if I remove that nut, this whole piece should come out. And it does. And you can see the original color of this carpet. All 
All right, with the big piece gone, this comes out. And look how drastic the difference is in the colors. So that's a nice deep blue, and that is gray. Plain old gray. And this is the passenger side seat belt, and I'm gonna move it with a T50 Torx bit. See how hard this is to break free. Ugh. Oh shit. I don't think this has been removed since the car was made. All right. So that is free. And I'm gonna play the same game on the other side. Now I'm gonna remove these, there's a nut here that I'm gonna take off with an 18 millimeter. So that's one. And that's the other. And I don't know what these plugs go to, but they weren't connected, so. And from the looks of it, the sides of the carpet is held in by these trim pieces that run along the bottom of the door. And by the time you get up to underneath the dash, the carpet isn't held in with anything. So it looks like the only thing I have left to do is remove these trim pieces and the pieces by the four wheel drive shifter. And I'm hoping that once I remove this piece, I'll be able to pull the carpet out from under this piece. And these, are held on by look to be dirty, dirty Phillips heads. So I'm gonna clean these out a little bit before I try and remove them. Cause I would hate to strip them. All right, let's see about taking them out now. how long it is. Damn. There's one more in the middle. So now I'm going to pull it up and hopefully it doesn't give me any problems. There we go. I'm gonna clean that up real good before I put it back on. And I don't see anywhere where this is fastened with a screw or anything, so hopefully it just pops right off. Oh man, so this piece of carpet is held onto this with adhesive. So let's see if I can just Yeah, so this, it just held on with clips, so it pulls out like that. And this back corner isn't held in with anything. If you see, I can just, I can just pull it out. So I think, yeah, I think if I play the same game I just played on the other side, I'll be able to remove the carpet, damn it, after I take this off. Let me go ahead and take that off now. So it looks like there are just these two screws on this side and there's two more right down here. So I'm gonna take these off as well. And I have never done this before, so I don't know how this comes off or, or how this comes off either. I don't think there's enough room to get past that. Let's see, does it pop off or screw on? Well, if I trust the internet, they say just pull on it really hard. So that's what I'm gonna try. Uh. 
you know what? I am gonna work smarter, not harder. That thing's really on there. Well, I'm having trouble getting it off. If you have any tips on how to get this off, let me know, but I am not gonna let that derail this progress. So I'm gonna see if this hole in the carpet is big enough for me to just pull it over everything. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish removing these on the driver's side, and hopefully that'll be the last thing I have to take off before I can pull the carpet. After some digging, I found a forum post that recommended removing the entire shaft. And you can see here that if you remove the pin and the rod holding the shaft in, you should be able to pull the entire shaft out. But I really think you should be able to remove the shift knob by itself. But anyway, back to removing the carpet. And if this is like the passenger side, it should pull out that way. All right, it's not coming out that easy. Come on, buddy. Why you wanna do me like that? There we go. It's lived there for over 30 years. I had to convince it that it's for its own good. Yeah, and everything stayed intact. I'm gonna hit it with a vacuum just a little bit. So, I am going to at least try and attempt to pull the carpet because I think everything... What? Oh, okay, good. I thought for a second that I was gonna have to take this off, but there's a split there that will allow me to pull it off. So, hopefully the carpet is coming out now. As I was pulling out the carpet and the sound deadening, I found something that I did not want to find. Rust. So this is the sound deadening that was above where I saw the rust. And this is where the rust is. Eww. Oh, uh, that looks pretty bad. Damn, so I'm gonna take all this white stuff out. All right. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I guess I'll start by trying to clean it. So if I can get this to bare metal and respray it, especially for a beat em up truck like this, I'll be okay as long as it is not evident on the underside. So let's get under and see. So along through here is where the rust is on the other side. And I'd have to take off a, that heat shield to actually see it, but it doesn't seem like it is on the top side, so I'm not going to get into that today. But I did notice this on the exhaust. This exhaust is, was cobbled together, and that is going to move up on the priority list as well because it has never been right. So I'm going to get rid of all these abandoned wires. I don't know what they 
what they went to but now but now they're gone so let's see got some rust there but that's not that bad that is just surface a little bit there I don't know I guess I'll just clean out and spray all of this but that area right there damn after seeing all the the stuff on the the tool tray that was here I thought the leak came from back here but as I was vacuuming out all the rust look at that it makes me think something is coming down there I don't know if it's coming from the cowl or the windshield but I have some investigating to do I was excited about today and had high hopes but I guess I'll have to put that on hold because I have a new project so I'm gonna leave the sound ending out the carpet out put the seats in make the truck drivable again and then revisit this on the next beautiful day my mom called and she just bought a desk and she'd like to transport it tonight so the truck is gonna get used as a truck and after that I will direct my attention to the Civic I have some bushings that I've been waiting to install if you'd like to follow along as I continue the work on my K1500 hit subscribe and if you'd like to see the work I've already done check out my playlist thanks for watching take care Thank mm -hmm. you.